Hello everybody, welcome uh, one and all to our Wee Beasties exhibit here at Edinburgh Zoo and for you today I have got one of our uh, stick insect species that we house within this exhibit here. It's called Extatosoma tyratum, but to you and I it's a Maclay's spectre. So we have uh, quite a, a substantial group of them here at Wee Beasties which you can come and see. And we have a group of males and females in together. Now there is a, quite a big difference between the two. This is one of the females that we have for you here today. She's quite a, a chunky individual, as it were, in comparison to the males. They're a little bit more darker in coloration, a little bit more orange, uh, but also they have wings. Now, the females do actually have wings here as well. You might be able to see that just on her back, but they're called vestigial wings. They're redundant. They don't actually function in that capacity, as it were. Whilst the males, fully functional, they can fly around, try and find as many females, which is why I haven't brought one of them out for you today. Now we feed them primarily on eucalyptus here at the park, that is what they are naturally going to be feeding upon in the wild because they are native to the eucalyptus forests in Australia. Uh, but you can get away with a few other things as well which we can forage around the park. So things like bramble, a raspberry and a little bit of oak as well. Primarily though you're going to be feeding them on the eucalyptus. Now there's a few little quirky things about them. It was ever so slight just there. They are both active and passive camouflage. So not only does she look like little decaying eucalyptus leaves, if we were to be truthful, you're going to be holding her like this. And that's because she spends the vast majority of her days just like that. But that little motion, that sway from left to right, is a form of motion crypsis. So it's a way of trying to camouflage and blend in with her environment and potentially avoid predation. So it's a very quirky little thing, in addition to the fact that she does actually look like decaying eucalyptus leaves. So they're very interesting little individuals.